in this question a uniform magnetic field of induction b naught exists everywhere in a long hollow thin walled metallic cylinder along its axis as on the figure length l of the cylinder is much larger than its radius r that is much larger than its wall thickness d the resistivity of the material of the cylinder is rho neglecting flux linkage with the material of the cylinder find how the magnetic induction b inside the cylinder will decay with time t after the magnetic field is sized off so initially this is the magnetic field and for this magnetic field there must be current uh, along this curved surface like this so current should be something like this so initially the current is uh, definitely flowing like this the system is some kind of a solenoid so it is a system which resembles a solenoid and current along this surface should be like this so current will be like this and due to this current the magnetic field is along the axis and towards left in this diagram so this is a thin walled cylinder and uh, let us assume that k is the current per unit length of the cylinder current per unit length i can draw a diagram like this in which i can show the current like this suppose uh, uh, at this particular location current is going inwards and at this particular location current is coming outwards so current is uh, something like this and due to this kind of current the magnetic field inside is uh, like this and Uh, i can apply ampere's law to find this magnetic field which is b not here so let us take ampere in loop like this because magnetic field is along the axis so i am taking this kind of ampere in loop of length is equal to l and i am going along this loop like this so when i travel from this point to this point like this then this is equal to b not into l and from here to here b is perpendicular to the dl b dot dl so b is perpendicular and uh, outside this thin walled tube there is no magnetic field magnetic field outside will be zero just like for solenoid and along this magnetic field is zero and along this b is perpendicular to l and outward magnetic field is zero so b dot dl circulation of magnetic field along this uh, ampere in loop will be b not into l and this is mu not into net current which is k into l where k is the current per unit length so this b not is coming out to be mu not into this k so b not is equal to mu not into k this is the value of b not when we switched off the current when we switched off the source of current source voltage suppose i switched off then this system will behave just like a series lr circuit in which current is decaying so it is a decaying current lr circuit and for decaying current lr circuit the current varies with time as something like this i is equal to some i not and this is e raised to power minus rt by l and obviously magnetic field is directly proportional to the current so magnetic field will also vary something like this b is equal to b not e raised to power minus rt by l so we just have to find the resistance there r is resistance and the self inductance coefficient of self inductance so we just have to find this two and we will take the ratio of this two and we will get the answer of b as a function of time so let us first find the value of self inductance uh, we can find self inductance uh, by two methods one can be this uh, energy magnetic field energy is equal to half li square so we can use this and from this we can write l is equal to 2u divided by this i square and how to find this uh, energy stored in this uh, region of magnetic field so energy stored will be Uh, i can write uh, i can find energy stored using the energy density formula the energy density formula is equal to b square divided by 2 mu not this is the energy density formula 
where b is equal to mu naught k so it is mu naught square k square divided by 2 mu naught which is mu naught k square divided by 2 this is the energy density and multiply this with the the volume we will get the capital u which is energy stored in a certain volume so this is mu naught k square by 2 and what is that volume volume is pi r square into l so this is the volume so this is capital u which is the energy stored in this volume and divide by this current so l is equal to this is 2 and u is equal to mu naught k square pi r square l and this is again divided by 2 so this is the value of u so 2u divided by i square what is the current so current in this l length so in l length we will have current is equal to kl and this kl square is k square l square this k square will go from here this l 1l will remain and this 2 and 2 will go from here so this is equal to mu naught pi r square divided by this l so this is the value of this coefficient of self inductance we can also find coefficient of self inductance using our usual method of l is equal to phi divided by i so what is phi here phi is the magnetic field <coughs> multiplied by the pi r square this is the flux and current is k into the cell what is b naught b naught is mu naught k pi r square divided by this k l this k and k will go and this is mu naught pi r square divided by l so this is the coefficient of self inductance what is the resistance the value of resistance so resistance is very simple we can find easily resistance using rho l by a so this is rho what is the length along which the current is flowing so the length along which current is flowing is 2 pi r 2 pi small r and uh, what is the area what is the area current is facing perpendicular to it so area of cross section when it is uh, flowing through this cross section the the area which is coming directly in front of current is d multiplied by l you can visualize it very clearly here uh, current is flowing from this area so what is the thickness thickness is equal to d and what is this length this length is equal to l so area will be d into l so this is rho l by a what is the length along which the current is flowing which is 2 pi r and this is d into l so this is the resistance and we just have to find r by l what is the value of r by l we have to find it so this is r by l and this r by l is rho 2 pi r divided by dl and this is l divided by mu naught pi r square so this l and l will be cancelled 1 pi 1 pi is cancelled 1 r is cancelled so finally we will have 2 rho divided by mu naught d into r so this is 2 rho mu naught d into r this is r by l and finally we can write magnetic field as a function of time b is equal to b naught e raised to power minus this is r by l into t this is minus 2 rho t divided by mu naught d into r so this is the final answer